All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Education and Scholarship Celebration presented by the Harford County Chamber of Commerce and our Ed Chamber Education Foundation, sponsored by Towson University in Northeastern Maryland. My name is Heather Murphy, Vice President of the Harford County Chamber. We are excited, elated uh, to congratulate the 2021 Harford County Public Schools Teacher of the Year, our 2021 scholarship recipients, and to celebrate other remarkable strides in education happening right here in our Harford County community. I would first like to recognize Dr. Sean Bolson, Superintendent of Harford County Public Schools, and Dr. Teresa Felder, President of Harford Community College, and to thank you both for your partnership and support as we work together to best prepare our students for career and college readiness. I want to also thank Towson University in Northeastern Maryland for sponsoring today's event. At this time, I invite John Desmond, Executive Director, to make some remarks as the sponsor of today's virtual celebration. Thanks, Heather. On behalf of our president, Dr. Kim Schatzel, it is my pleasure to bring greetings from Towson University and its facility in Hartford County, Towson University in Northeastern Maryland, or as we affectionately refer to ourselves, TUNE. We are honored to sponsor this yearly chamber event with our partners from Hartford Community College. And partner really is the right word to use when talking about TUNE and HCC. For without that partnership, there would be no facility dedicated to offering bachelor's degree at an affordable price right here close to home in Hartford County. This fall, we begin our eighth year of operation and we continue to grow in enrollments and program offerings. We currently have nine programs and expect to add our 10th healthcare management in the fall of 22. TUNE offers open houses throughout the school year geared to prospective students and their families. To provide detailed information about the majors and student supports and experiences available at TUNE and the university's main campus. Tours are also available upon request. To find out about these opportunities to visit TUNE and plenty of other information, I would encourage you to visit our website at www.towson.edu slash TUNE. Congratulations to all of the scholarship winners and their families. It is always a pleasure to review the applications and an even bigger joy to see the faces of the winners. Have a wonderful morning. Denise? Why, thank you, John. Good morning, everyone. My name is Denise Drager. I'm the Executive Director for the Harford Community College Foundation and Co-Chair of the Harford County Chamber of Commerce Education Committee. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you this morning to celebrate education in Harford County and recognize the outstanding recipients of this year's Chamber Scholarships. We begin with remarks from the 2021 Harford County Teacher of the Year, Lauren Bird, who teaches first grade at Hickory Elementary School. Mrs. Bird began her career with Harford County Public Schools in 2012 at Roy Williams Elementary School. She is dedicated to each and every one of her students and has built a community of learners who love to be in the special spaces she creates in her classroom. A classroom transformed into a campground, the Arctic tundra, or a tropical rainforest of inspiration. She not only has served her students, but also seeks to benefit her colleagues through her work as a mentor for new teachers, a volunteer on various school committees, and writing curriculum. Mrs. Bird earned a bachelor's degree in early childhood and elementary education from Juniana College and a master's from Loyola University as a reading teacher. Mrs. Bird was nominated for Teacher of the Year by the Turner family with enthusiastic support from Brad Steiner, principal of Hickory Elementary School. At this time, we welcome Lauren Bird the 2021 Hartford County Public Schools Teacher of the Year to offer her remarks. Thank you, Denise. I'm happy to be here this morning celebrating you all. 
Tell me your story. This was one of the questions that I was asked by a reporter after receiving the honor of being named Teacher of the Year. For a moment, I panicked. You see, he didn't ask me why I became a teacher. I had mentally prepared for that. Instead, he asked me to tell my story. I did what I think many of us would have done in that same situation. I gave him the highlight reel, the version of events that felt safe to share. Since that interview, I've been thinking a lot about stories and how important they've been in my life. I'm a teacher and a mommy. I tell stories for a living. Stories bind us together and help us make sense of our experiences. We use stories to teach right from wrong. We use stories to warn others of danger. We use stories to teach lessons and celebrate the good triumphing over evil. Stories have power. They matter and they're meant to be shared. So let me tell you part of my story. The year was 1998. The songs That Boy Is Mine by Brandy and Monica and You're Still the One by Shania Twain graced the top of the Billboard charts. Everything was perfect. I was the perfect straight A student, a star volleyball player, an obedient daughter, and a faithful friend. People would tell me all the time how proud they were of me. I had several scholarship offers on the table and I was off to great places. It sounds like the perfect story with a perfect happy ending waiting just around the corner, doesn't it? The reality is that on the inside, the life I was living seemed more like a nightmare. I was broken and defeated. Just a year before, I lost my brother in an accident. Although, truth be told, I had lost him years before to debilitating OCD and depression that made it almost impossible for him to leave the house. His needs were so great that it completely sapped the energy from our parents. I knew they couldn't possibly handle any more than one was already on their plate. How could I cause them any more worry or fear by telling them what I was going through? So I worked hard in school to get perfect grades. I avoided parties and anything that would put me at risk. I knew that volleyball was my ticket to college, so I trained hard, often working out for hours each day in addition to my normal practices. To keep the perfect athlete's body, I ate only what it needed to fuel my body with energy for the game and then purge the rest. I cried myself to sleep each night and began to wish that I wouldn't wake up in the morning. To the world, I was perfect, but on the inside, I was broken and ready to give up. One day, my algebra teacher asked me to stay after class. She said, it must be exhausting. What do you mean? I asked. And then she said, it must be so exhausting to be perfect all the time. I give you permission to fail. For the first time in a long time, I felt seen and understood. By telling my story to that one teacher, it set me on the path to get the help that I needed. I went on to college and earned my degree. In the interest of full disclosure, I can admit that my drive to strive for perfection never went away. To this day, I still stress about letting down the people I love, disappointing them or burdening them with my issues. But I've also learned that I can ask for help and seek guidance from others. Most of all, I learned that I could fail at something without failing someone. In my junior year of college, the demands of school, working and playing volleyball became too much. I was stretched in so many directions that I felt like I wasn't very good at anything. I agonized over the decision to quit playing volleyball and feared I would be a disappointment to everyone. There were other students in the same situation as me who were managing it, why couldn't I? Instead of holding it in and letting it lay heavy on my heart like I would have done in the past, I reached out to a friend and mentor for support. After talking it through and saying lots of prayers, I picked up the phone and called my parents. And you know what? The world didn't end. In fact, they were proud of the decision I had made to put school and teaching first. I hadn't failed them at all. 
It took time and help, but I was able to pick up the broken pieces and put them back together to create something beautiful. I was perfect, perfectly imperfect. That's part of my story that I rarely share with others, but it matters. My story matters, your story matters. Maya Angelou said, there is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside of you. Today, I want to encourage you to embrace your story and share more of it with the world. The series of events that led you here today, the adventures you've had, and the decisions you've made, both wonderful and terrible, that have made you who you are. Today, we celebrate you and all your accomplishments. Your story, like mine, is probably full of successes and failures, triumphs and disappointments. This past year alone has added so much to our story. I think this pandemic has left us all just a little broken, but I'd like you to consider this. In Japan, broken objects are often repaired using gold. The flaw is seen as a unique piece of the object's history, which only adds to its beauty and its story. I wish we were all together today, celebrating your amazing accomplishments in person. As I read the details of some of the wonderful recipients being honored today, I wished that I could be with you to hear more of your stories. Like Christine Kim, who desires to help break the stigmas surrounding mental health and help students and families get the support and treatment they need. That is a story I look forward to hearing one day. And Tina, who had to put some of her scholarly dreams on hold to help support her family. I am sure that your story is an inspiring one. Tina, in the words of your son, it is your turn. I can't think of a single story where the main character did it alone. In all the stories that comprise my life, there was always someone there helping, guiding, and supporting me. A coach, parent, teacher, or friend. With us today are the many generous business leaders who believe in the power of education and so graciously give to support our endeavors. Thank you for investing in these scholars, believing in their potential to change the world and for becoming part of their stories. To the parents, families, and friends supporting our scholars today, thank you. I know how proud you must be of their hard work, perseverance, and dedication. No doubt, you played a big supporting role in the story of how they got here today. As these scholars continue to write their stories, know that they will continue to need your support and encouragement. Scholars, I pray that the stories you will share of your life will include acts of kindness and service to others. In sharing one of my stories with you, I hope to share the message that along with all the successes, it's okay to fail as well. I know you will pick up the pieces and I hope you fix them with gold. Today is not the beginning of a new chapter, but rather the beginning of a new story. It is newly begun. Like all stories, it will hold problems for you to solve, mysteries for you to uncover, and the potential for a happy ending. Perhaps one day in the future, you will return to this place and become part of a new scholar's story. You are the author and the main character. Your story matters. Today is the first page and it's a beautiful one. Congratulations. Thank you, Lauren, for sharing your story and yourself with us this morning. I now ask Lee Tayson, Chair of the Board for the Hartford County Chamber of Commerce to present the Golden Apple Award to Mrs. Bird. Lee? Good morning, everyone. The Hartford County Chamber of Commerce Golden Apple Award is bestowed upon the Hartford County Public School Teacher of the Year. It's the Chamber's way on behalf of the business community to recognize and thank the Teacher of the Year. The Hartford County Chamber understands the talent, dedication, passion needed to educate and motivate our students. Stud those students are the ones who become the leaders and the activists in our community. Freedom Federal Credit Union and Liberty Mutual Insurance are the sponsors of this year's Golden Apple Award and as they too recognize the importance of a strong, dedicated teacher who leaves a positive impact on her students. On behalf of Freedom Federal Credit Union and Liberty Mutual and the Chamber, Chamber's Board of Directors, 
I am proud to present the Golden Apple Award to Lauren Bird. Much. Well, once again, congratulations, Lauren. Uh, Lauren is now entered in the State Teacher of the Year competi competition, which will culminate with the naming of the Maryland Teacher of the Year in October. Mrs. Bird's efforts throughout the coming year will publicize the key role and significant impact that our county's great teachers play in the lives of young people. Best of luck and thank you for all you do to support education in our county. Good morning. My name is Mary Beth Stapleton, Manager of Family and Community Partnerships for Hartford County Public Schools and Co-Chair of the Chambers Education Foundation Committee with Denise. The Education Committee is made up of dedicated Chamber members from both the public and private sectors. Our goal is to be a bridge between educational institutions in the community and Hartford County businesses while overseeing the Chamber Scholarship Awards. In the interest of safety, our committee and our partners, we wanted to ensure broader access to this opportunity. So we maintained a hybrid approach to our scholarship submission and review process this year. We applaud the students, the committee members who accepted and executed these changes, and we thank you for your flexibility. At this time, I'd like to thank those members who served on this year's review committee. If members of our education committee could please wave at this time to be recognized. Thank you all. The student scholarships awarded this morning would not be possible without our scholarship sponsors. In addition to the Hartford County Chamber of Commerce Education Foundation, the following business sponsors scholarships, Freedom Federal Credit Union, Hartford County Public Library, Hartford Bank, APG Federal Credit Union, Towson University in Northeastern Maryland, and Huntington Learning Center in Bel Air. Thank you all. All right, so now we're excited and honored to recognize this year's scholarship recipients. Scholarship committee members would agree that every single applicant was exceptional. However, this year's recipients' accomplishments are, quite frankly, remarkable. Our first recipient is Tina Main in the Continuing Education Adult category. The Continuing Education Adult Scholarship is sponsored by the Hartford County Public Library. Tina is currently enrolled at Hartford Community College for Business Management. She has been employed with Hartford County Public Schools for 15 years, serving in various roles at various schools throughout the county, and currently serves as an Administrative Support Specialist in the Central Office. In addition to her business courses, Tina also has taken up Spanish classes, which will allow her to assist more families in the workplace and to reconnect with her Hispanic heritage. As the daughter of divorced parents, Tina had to prioritize work above college after graduating high school. She looks forward to satisfying requirements for her associate's degree and is looking beyond to a four-year degree which she never thought was possible. Tina gets her inspiration from the hard work and dedication of her son, Mark, who graduated from your college with a computer science degree in 2018. After her son received his degree, he turned to Tina and said, Mom, now it's your turn. Congratulations, Tina. I welcome you to say a few words. Thank you so much. That was incredible. I'm like overwhelmed, honestly. Um, I did want to, um, um, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm just really excited. Excuse me one second. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I wanted to thank the sponsor of the Harford County Chamber of Commerce Continuing Education Scholarship, Harford County Public Library. It is because of this scholarship uh, scholarships like these that have inspired and empowered me to become a returning adult student, <clears throat> allowing me to continue my education, grow my career at Harper County Public Schools, and help realize my personal aspirations. Thank you for supporting my dreams. Tina, we wish you all the best in your studies at Harford Community College. And I know myself and Dr. Felder can't wait for you to walk across the graduation stage. So congratulations. 
Thank you again. Thank you. Our next scholarship recipient is Joshua Altozuski in the technic technology trade category. The technology trade scholarship is also sponsored by Hartford County Public Library. Joshua is currently enrolled at University of Maryland Global Campus in pursuit of a degree in computer networks and cybersecurity. After having graduated with an associate's degree in information insurance and cybersecurity from Hartford Community College. In addition to his studies, Joshua has worked as an intern with the Hartford County Public Schools Office of Technology. Audiovisual integrator and IT specialist for service engineering, and most recently as a computer support technician for Hartford County Public Schools. His ultimate goal is to complete his degree, maintain his industry certifications, and serve as a systems network administrator. Unfortunately, Joshua is not able to be present at today's event, so please listen to his recorded remarks. I'd like to thank Hartford County Public Library for sponsoring this scholarship. I'm studying computer networking and cybersecurity at University of Maryland Global Campus, and the scholarship will help me uh, pursue my dreams to become a computer technician. Uh, I'd like to Congratulations again, Joshua. And I now welcome Mary Hassler, President and CEO of the Hartford County P Public Library, to offer remarks as the continuing education adult and technology trade sponsor. Mary? Good, good morning, everyone, and thank you, Denise. Uh, this is always such an uh, exciting morning and a highlight of the year. Uh, we are honored, and, and when I say that, I don't say that lightly. We are truly honored to provide these scholarships. Uh, many of us were returning adults and, and working to provide uh, for our families and to really just improve our lives and those around us. And I'm just so proud. And Tina and Joshua, uh, I have chills. And Tina, I was crying when you were crying because it just makes such a difference, you know, cheering everyone on. And remember, keep this in mind. I know you work with Sean at the schools, which is a lovely institution. However, the library is also a lovely institution too. So everybody keep us in mind when you graduate and we uh, cheer you on as you walk across the stage. So Congratulations to everyone and all the other scholarship uh, honorees today too, and our Teacher of the Year. Thank you. Thanks, Mary, and we'd like to thank uh, the Harper County Public Library for these generous uh, scholarships. Our next two scholarships are sponsored by Harford Bank in the Business, Finance, and Information Technology category. The first scholarship recipient is Julia Dietz. Julia is a graduate of the Salem Christian School, a homeschool ministry of Salem United Methodist Church, during which she has been dual enrolled with Hartford Community College. After completing her associates in accounting, Julia plans to pursue a bachelor's degree, ultimately working toward a certified public accountant certification. Julia is very active in her church community, volunteers on the Hartford County Teen Court, and Harford County Public Library Teen Advisory Group, and has won many awards such as Remarkable Service and Employee of the Month, serving as a team member at Chick-fil-A in Forest Hill. Unfortunately, Julia is not able to be present at today's event, so please listen to her recorded remarks. My name is Julia Dietz and I just wanted to thank Hartford Bank for sponsoring my scholarship. I'm so excited to be attending Hartford Community College for my accounting AS degree uh, for having just a um, great financial support in my education is such a blessing. So thank you again for Hi, my name is this there we go. The second business finance and information technology scholarship recipient is Christopher Scandalous. Scandalous. I think I said that correct, Christopher. Christopher is a recent graduate of the sports medicine program at Hartford Technical High School and plans to pursue a degree in sports management and sports law. Christopher participated on many sports teams throughout his high school career, including JV and varsity soccer and basketball, track and field, and baseball. He demonstrated his leadership abilities and skills as captain of both his soccer and basketball teams and as a camp counselor for Hartford Gymnastics. 
Christopher strives to give back to his community by volunteering for the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, Kids for Hope, and Volunteen. Unfortunately, Christopher is not able to be presented at today's event, but his mother, Molly Scandalis, would like to say a few words on his behalf. Hey everybody, can you hear me? Yep, we sure can. Good morning, thank you so much for recognizing CJ. We call him CJ. Thank oh, you for recognizing CJ. Um, he is at Senior Week, culminating his senior year and is most likely not awake right now. But he is super, super appreciative of this. Um, you know, when we walked onto the campus at Florida State in Tallahassee, it was that aha moment for him of, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is where I'm supposed to be. And, you know, out-of-state tuition is, is a little crazy. Um, so the, the scholarships and, and all these donations help so much because um, he, wants to, he wants to go into the world of professional sports and the, the teams and the stadiums there are so professional. It'll be such an awesome experience for him and, and great for a resume. So when he walked onto the campus and fell in love, we, we just thought we have to find every way we can for him to be here and pursue these dreams that you know he's working so hard for. So we really appreciate Harford Bank, Harford Chamber of Commerce and, and all the, the sponsors. And um, he, he is uh, super, super thrilled to receive this award. So thank you so much. Thank you, Molly. We hope CJ has a great time at Senior Week and we wish him all the best in his, uh, his uh, college experience. Thank you. Thank I now you. welcome, yeah. <laughs> I now welcome Brian Claffey from Harford Bank to say a few words as the Business Finance and Information Technology Sponsor. Brian? Is Brian with us? I'll take one more minute and wait for Brian and then we'll just continue on. Okay. All right, we'll move on. If um, maybe if we can add Brian later, we will certainly try to do that. Sounds great. So let's move on to our next set of scholarships, which are awarded through the Hartford County Chamber of Commerce Education Foundation. Each year, the foundation awards scholarships in the health and human services category, arts, media, and communications category, and the William B. Sakuro teacher education category. Christine Kim is our health and human services scholarship recipient. Christine is a recent graduate from Patterson Mill High School. She plans to study chemistry and neuroscience under the pre-med track with the ultimate goal to graduate medical school and land a residency program in child and adolescent psychiatry. Christine has always had an interest in the field of mental health and seeks to join others in the medical field to break the stigmas surrounding mental health disorders. She believes it is critical to educate and advocate for families so that our children and young adults receive the treatment they need. Christine will be attending Johns Hopkins University in the fall. Congratulations, Christine. I welcome you to say a few words. Thank you. Um, I'm extremely honored to be receiving such an important award from the Harvard County Chamber of Commerce. And with this great recognition that the Chamber has given me for my past achievements and accomplishments, I know I've become even more empowered to chase my dreams in college. Thank you. Thank you, Christine, and we wish you all the best in your career pursuits. Next, we have the Dr. William B. Sakuro Teacher Education Scholarship that was established in 2010 upon Dr. Sakuro's retirement as president and CEO of the Harford County Chamber of Commerce. Before serving as the Chamber's president and CEO, Dr. Sakuro positively impacted the lives of young men and women as a teacher for Harford County Public Schools. This scholarship honors his impressive career with the school system. The Harford County Education Foundation is privileged 
to annually present this scholarship in Dr. Sakuro's name. And we are honored to have Dr. Sakuro with us for today's celebration. The 2021 Dr. William B. Sakuro Scholarship recipient is Omar Simpson. Omar is a recent graduate of Edgewood High School, where he was a member of the Spanish National and Mu Alpha Theta Societies and an active community volunteer for Harford County District Teen Court and Mountain Christian Church. From a very young age, Omar has known that he wanted to be a teacher. He was always motivated and encouraged by his teachers and found school to be a fun environment. He plans to pursue a degree in elementary education with the ultimate goal of attaining his master's degree in instru instructional design. His goal in designing and coordinating student curriculum is to adequately provide the tools that students need to be inspired and prepared to pursue their dreams, just as his teachers did for him. Omar will be attending Stevenson University in the fall. Congratulations, Omar. We welcome you to say a few words. Hi, I'm Omar, that's me. And I would just like to take a minute to say that it's been an honor to be the recipient of the Dr. William B. Sakuro, if that's how it's said, yeah, it is, Teacher Education Scholarship. Even as a young child, I drove my younger cousins crazy because I gave them schoolwork during the summer. Yes, I know, crazy. And I, the reason I did that was because as they felt the need to sell for the clouds, you know, I thought it was my job to help them reach for the stars, which was actually part of my senior quote. Well, I hope that someday that I'll be able to impact other young lives and give the same joy to younger children that my teachers have done for me. So thank you again for your support in continuing my education. Thank you, Omar, and congratulations. We can't wait to see the great things that you're gonna do in education. The 2021 Arts, Media, and Communications Scholarship recipient is Emma Semper. Emma is also a recent graduate from Edgewood High School. Emma was very involved in music throughout high school, participating in the Edgewood High School marching band, concert band, and pep bands. In addition to being a member of the National Honor Society, Emma also boasts a third degree black belt and volunteers at the Taekwondo Legacy Student for ATA Martial Arts Maryland where she teaches students ages seven to 13. Emma plans to pursue an associate's degree in art and design photography, as photography has always been a passion of hers and will be attending Harford Community College in the fall. Congratulations, Emma. I welcome you to say a few words. Thank you, I am so truly honored and sponsored by Harford County Chamber of Commerce. This is honestly been probably one of the biggest surprise um, you know getting the email and reading it and saying congratulations and it was truly mind-blowing and i'm so very thankful to be honored for the arts media and communication scholarship well congratulations emma and uh, best of luck to you and we'll see you on campus Year, thanks to our gracious sponsors, we were able to award two additional scholarships in the teacher education category. The 2021 Teacher Education Scholarship recipient, sponsored by Towson University in Northeastern Maryland, Tune, is Laura Cord. Laura is a recent graduate of the New Covenant Christian School. She participated in many extracurriculars, including choir and JV and varsity girls basketball and served on the Student Leadership Council. In addition to her community work with Girl Scouts in various local churches, she has also worked as a nanny and at Brightview Assisted Living. Laura feels she was called by God to be an educator and she has felt so much joy and fulfillment from opportunities that she has had working with young children through summer youth programs and teaching Sunday school classes. Laura intends to pursue a degree in elementary education and her goal is to return back to home to teach for Hartford County. 
Laura will be attending Crown College of the Bible in the fall. Congratulations, Laura, and I welcome you to say a few words. Um, I would just like to take a few minutes to say thank you to the Chamber of Commerce and to say thank you to Towson University. And I look forward to using all I've learned um, to further my education at the Crown College and hopefully to return back to Harvard County and to um, teach young minds. Thank you. Thank you, Laura, and best of luck in your future endeavors. I now welcome John Desmond from Toon to say a few words as Teacher Education Scholarship Sponsor. John? Well, I'd, I'd just like to say uh, congratulations to Laura. Uh, as a former second grade teacher and elementary school principal, uh, it was exciting to read uh, your application and I'm excited for all the students that you will impact um, during your career. Congratulations. Thank you, John, and thank you for Tune's continued support of our scholarship program and your volunteer efforts on the Education Committee. The 2021 Teacher Education Scholarship recipient, sponsored by Huntington Learning Center in Bel Air, is Taylor Mason. Taylor is a recent graduate of North Hartford High School. Taylor served as captain of speech and debate, as well as the academic team, and as a preschool teacher and master mentor for Little Hawks Preschool. Taylor has demonstrated her skills as a leader and teacher through involvement as a counselor at Harford Glen Ed Environmental Education Center and Sandy Hill Camp. Taylor hopes that through her work, she can work to improve the quality of education for students. She believes that children need to be exposed to different methods of teaching and shares a passion for hands-on, non-traditional classroom learning like that found at Harford Glen. Taylor will be attending University of Maryland at College Park in the fall. Unfortunately, due to a family emergency, Taylor is unable to be with us today, but she's honored and sincerely grateful to receive this teacher scholarship. I now welcome Melissa Metzger from Huntington Learning Center in Bel Air to say a few words as a teacher education scholarship sponsor. Melissa? Good morning. Good morning everyone. Um, well, hopefully Taylor can go back and watch this later um, to hear our congratulations. You know, we're very happy uh, and proud to be able to provide the scholarship to her and hope that she remembers to come back and teach for us someday in Harford County. So <laughs> congratulations, Taylor. Our last two scholarships are sponsored by Freedom Federal Credit Union in the science, technology, and engineering category. Our first science, technology, and engineering scholarship recipient is Mia Sergi. Mia is a recent graduate of Falston High School. She plans to study biochemistry, minor in Arabic, and focus on continued development of her leadership skills. Mia is passionate about learning and understanding global and cultural issues, and believes that through a combination of activism and science, she will be better prepared to seek ethical scientific solutions. Her long-term plans are to attend graduate school to focus on immunology and genetics with an emphasis on reverse engineering to target cancer cells. Mia will be attending Dickinson College in the fall. Congratulations, Mia, and I welcome you to say a few words. Much. I just want to thank the Federal Credit Union and the conference to Harford County Chamber of Commerce for this uh, incredible opportunity and helping me pursue my academic pursuit. So thank you. Thank you, Mia, and best of luck to you. The next recipient is Zachary Kidrowski. He is the recipient of the Science, Technology, and Engineering Scholarship. Zachary graduated from the Science and Mathematics Academy at Aberdeen High School. Zachary received the AP Scholar with Distinction and National Merit Scholar Commended Student Awards. In addition to his participation on the Student Government Association, Zachary also was very active in sports, such as soccer, basketball, and varsity track and cross country. Over the course of his academic studies, Zachary has studied environmental pollution and is passionate about changing the way we think about and care for the environment around us. He strives to be an example of positive influence to protect and preserve 
so that generations to come are able to live healthy lives and enjoy nature. Zachary plans to pursue a degree and career as an environmental scientist. He will be attending University of Maryland at College Park in the fall. Unfortunately, due to a work obligation, Zachary is not able to be here with us this morning, so please listen to his recorded remarks. I want to give my thanks to Freedom Federal Credit Union for this generous scholarship. I'm going to use the money to help me double major in environmental science and technology and statistics at the University of Maryland College Park. Zachary's father, Barrett, is with us today and would like to say a few remarks on Zachary's behalf. Barrett? Great. Thank you very much there. Zachary was able to join us for the first half hour, but did have to uh, get to work this morning. Uh, but we just want to reiterate our thanks to the Freedom Federal Credit Union there for this generous scholarship. Uh, and as you mentioned, I'll be going to College Park, uh, you know, looking at majoring in environmental science and statistics there. He does want to pursue a research career. And so we're very thankful and to all the support to everyone here in Hartford County. Thank you so much. And please let Zachary know we wish him much success in his career. Thank you. All right, so I now welcome Mike McPherson, President and CEO of Freedom Federal Credit Union, to say a few words as our STEM scholarship sponsor. Well, thanks and good morning. You know, as I was reading over the bios that were provided in the program for today's event, I couldn't help but keep thinking about the saying, with great power comes great responsibility, hence the Spider-Man tie. And the reason I thought about this was because to me, education is power. And I know the phrase is usually knowledge is power, but I think it's more than just knowing things. It's what you do with what you know. Education's more than being pumped full of facts and data. It's about unlocking potential and exposing you to new ideas and new ways of thinking. It's about engagement, socialization, and learning how you, what you know can impact not only your life, but those around you. So it was inspiring to read about all the recipients, especially the ones from Mia and Zachary that received the Freedom Sponsored Scholarship. Because when you read about Mia and Zachary, you see their goal is to use their education in science, technology, and ed engineering towards a greater good, like treating cancer and, and promoting activism or protecting and preserving our environment. It really shows the importance of what we're doing here today and what all these scholarships really represent and the relationships that we and other businesses have with Harvard Community College. So a big congratulations to Mia and Zachary and to all the recipients. I know you're gonna help make this world a better place, but no pressure. Thank you, Mike. And, and the Chamber certainly thanks Freedom Federal Credit Union for your continued support of our students with these scholarships. This time, I do want to welcome Brian Claffey from Hartford Bank back to say a few words as the Business Finance and Information, Information Technology Sponsor. Brian? Yeah, thank you very much for the, the quick rewind. Uh, we had a, a technology glitch out here, um, so I'm back on my phone. So thank you, just, just for a few minutes here. Uh, good morning, everyone. Again, I'm Brian Claffey, the Head of uh, Retail Banking Services at Hartford Bank. And just on a quick personal note, I graduated three sons through the Hartford County public school system. And I tell everyone what an amazing education they received. I tell them that every day too, as they went on to pursue their, their graduate uh, studies. Um, on behalf of my colleagues, the board of directors here at Hartford Bank, I just wanna congratulate all the recipients this year and reiterate our commitment to supporting Hartford County public schools, the Chamber of Commerce and the foundation. We wish everyone much success in the next uh, leg of your journey. Your education and your career is not a sprint, it's a marathon, so please take your time and enjoy the ride. Thank you. Thank you, Brian, and thank you to all of Hartford Bank for your continued support of our scholarship program. Okay. So as we close today's program, I definitely want to stop and give one last round of applause. Feel free to take yourselves off of mute for this, for this round. Um, and congratulations again to all of our scholarship recipients and to our 2021 Hartford County Teacher of the Year, Lauren Bird, as well. Congratulations again, everyone. Yes, we are so proud and honored of all of our students, 
all of our educators, the entire educational community that we have here in Hartford County, especially for your resilience over the past year and a half. We know it hasn't been easy um, and your efforts are much appreciated and you will continue to do great things. I want to again thank the sponsor of today's event, Towson University in Northeastern Maryland, or as we affectionately say, TUNE, and all of our business sponsors that have graciously provided funding for our scholarships. In addition to our business sponsors, I want to recognize and thank our Harford Young Professionals Group here at the Chamber and participants and sponsors of this year's mini golf fundraising event. We were not able to have it last year due to restrictions and it was wonderful to get everyone together in person this year to play some mini golf for a great cause that was raising money for education. Through the event, we were able to raise an additional $3,500 for our scholarship program. So thank you to all involved in the success of that event as well. Thank you, of course, to Denise Dreger and Mary Beth Stapleton for your work as our co-chairs of the Education Committee. And thank you to all of the members of our Education Committee for your dedication and support. The Harvard County Chamber would like to personally recognize and thank two of our most recent interns for their hard work, Makita Barnes and Jonathan Foster, both recent graduates of the Academy of Finance at Edgewood High School. We highly, highly recommend to any business or organization in the county who is interested in offering an internship opportunity to get connected with the Academy of Finance as we cannot speak more highly of our experience with the students. In closing, I invite you all to join us for more celebrations as the Chamber celebrates its 45th anniversary on June 17th. Registration and tickets details can be found on our website under our annual meeting and anniversary mixer event that will be held at Maryland Golf and Country Club. We thank you all so much for tuning in today to celebrate with us and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Congratulations again to everyone. We wish you all the best and the most success. Thank you.